Hello everyone, welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. I know it's been a while. Uh, I uh, been out. Of, I was out of town for a few days. Uh, then when I got back in town, work's been busy and crazy. And as I mentioned before, I am still planning my wedding. <laughs> so, just been really busy. But I did want to sit down and review another doll today. Um, it's this one. Uh, my fiance bought him for me uh, a week or so ago. And like with the Barbie from this line, uh, a Barbie at the beach, Barbie on the beach, we really aren't sure what her official name is. Uh, this is the kid in the line. And I like her, I just wanted him for his accessories because I have another doll in mind for this outfit and accessories. So, um, real quick, let's talk about the packaging. It's very similar to Barbie's. You know, the usual blister pack. The only thing that's different is, of course, there's a picture of Ken there instead of Barbie, a picture of Ken's face close up, and the accessories he comes with. And then Barbie is down here, along with the other dolls, I guess, in this same line. Um, now, I've only been able to find these dolls at Target. They're, I haven't even seen them on Amazon, but of course, it's a very bottom. I haven't been really looking on Amazon since I've gotten them. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you're seeing them anywhere else besides Target. I even went to my Walmart and I'm not seeing them. Uh, the Barbie sold out quick. I almost didn't get one. And when I got my Ken, I think including him, there's only two or three left. The rest of the dolls in line, this, the one of the roller skates, the one in that jumpsuit, and this curvy girl that comes with, she's basically a playset. They have plenty of her, plenty of those dolls in stock. It's the Ken and Barbie that are just flying off the shelves for whatever reason. Um, so again, his package is the same, just where Barbie's picture was, there's Ken. Um, again, they're not, there's no official title or name for this series, That's at least not on the box. I'm guessing he is the same as Barbie is Ken on the Beach 2023. That's as good as, as, good as I got. If, if anybody else knows if they're going by something else or if it's official, please let me know down in the comments. So let's get this opened. I'm gonna try not to tear up the packaging, but it opens pretty easy like an usual blister, blister pack usually does. Um, while I'm opening this, have you all seen the Barbie movie yet? I have already seen it twice. I saw it once uh, when I went out of town. It was my one of my good friend's birthdays. And uh, I saw it again uh, Sunday. Uh, what did y'all think about it? I really enjoyed it. I thought Margot did an amazing, amazing job as Barbie. I thought the whole movie was, it was just good. Um, didn't expect the ending. I'm not gonna give any spoilers just in case any of you watching this haven't seen it yet. I'm just gonna say, wasn't expecting the ending they gave, but I wasn't also unhappy with it either. Um, so everyone down in the comments, just let me know if you haven't seen the movie yet, don't read the comments. <laughs> there might be spoilers, but uh, let's talk about the movie in the comments. Um, I really enjoyed it. I. Um, it's definitely giving Barbie the attention that she has needed the past, I would say, almost decade. Um, I feel like Mattel has not been treating her with the same level of respect and love that she has been treated in the past. I'm just glad that um, she's finally getting that attention and recognition that she well deserves because she is iconic, as we all know. So, got everything out, didn't take long. It's pretty pretty easy to get out, like a typical, you know, fashionista almost doll. So, here's his sunglasses, very similar to Barbie's, except they're not a severe cat eye. And they are white framed, but uh, Barbie's are blue, his are dark gray, black. So those are his sunglasses. And then, so like with Barbie, Barbie came with an ice cream cone, so does Ken. Uh, if it will come out of the package. So, 
Barbies was that mint green, I guess. Ken wanted strawberry, so his is pink. That's his ice cream cone. He also comes with a cell phone. Barbie was a pale pink, his is pale blue. I like a good theme when it comes to dolls. It just looks like your basic iPhone we've seen before, but just another pale blue. Um, he came with a sun visor, just a blue sun visor. We've seen something like this before. This looks identical to one of the BMR 1959 Ken doll sun visor, the redhead, except his had painted details and seen, said BMR 1959. This one does not, but it's the same color that translates to blue. And then he came with a water bottle. Gotta stay hydrated in this heat when you're on the beach. And then also, just like Barbie, he came with sunscreen, SPF 59. Y'all know what that's referencing, the year Barbie came out. And then, if I can get it out, which I'm probably gonna have to cut it out, he also came with a pink volleyball. So now, Barbie and Ken and their friends can play volleyball on the beach. Um, it's a pink volleyball. It does have, it'll show up, there's a glare. It does have a, a B for Barbie on it. And now let's move on to the man of the hour. Ken. So, um, as with Barbie's outfit, you know, hers was heavily inspired by her 1959 swimsuit. I feel like Ken's is too a little bit. Um, very similar. It does Velcro in the front, has the faux silk, has faux silver buttons. It's black and it's blue and white checkered. Um, his shorts, and I really appreciate this, they're elastic, but they have the drawstring detail. It's not printed on. Mattel is finally, stop it, is finally stopping the printed on details they were giving us a few, not even a few years back, even just a couple of years ago. And, um, and they, they used to print on the buttons too, and now we're getting the buttons, the faux buttons back. Um, and he's got the slide on flip flops. They are the same color blue. They say Ken on them. And he also has a watch. I'm sure it's probably what's supposed to represent a smartwatch, Apple watch, whatever you want to call it. But as I was saying just a minute ago, I feel like, um, his outfit is pretty well inspired by his original outfit from 1961. Um, of course, he came in red trunks, red, red and white striped top. Um, yeah, I think um, it's still inspired by. It maybe it might look more like the one from 1964 when he, uh, Ben Led Kim first came out. Um, he does have a very nice face screening. I don't see any pixelation and no shine. It's very nice. He's blonde. He's very blonde. He's very handsome. Um, all in all, a good doll. Um, again, I just, I'm, I wanted him for the accessories and his clothes to go on another kin. In fact, I might as well show you. I want to uh, give his accessories to this kin and his clothes to this kin. Um, because, well, you know, look at him. <laughs> anyway, uh, he also came with his very own little yellow terry cloth towel like he did in 1963. Um, this is a very nice towel. It's not one of those uh, fabric towels that has all the printed on details and could he pass as a towel or as a blanket. So Mattel is really, really starting to try to bring back the details and the accessories, which can almost, you can almost forgive them for giving us a doll with the basic five points of articulation. Um, these dolls are about $16.99 each. The play set, I believe, is $19.99, if not $21, 20, uh, $22. Um, honestly, you can get a made-to-move Barbie at, like, the same price at most stores and on Amazon. Um, 
Honestly, I would have preferred paying maybe $20, $19.99 for him if we could have gotten him on a made to move body, even though I don't really intend to keep the outfit on him or anything. It would have been nice just in case I wanted to use him as a body donor, you know? But again, I'm liking at the $16.99 price level, all the details. And let me mention with the watch. The watch, so a lot of times, the watch doesn't have that face detail. It's there, but it's not painted. I think this is probably a sticker. It could be painted. But it's nice that they're just starting to put details back into the doll's accessories and the dolls themselves. So, all in all, really nice doll. Again, mostly got him for his accessories. Um, who knows? I'm gonna keep him around. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him, but uh, he's a very nice doll. And if you liked Barbie, um, then get the kid to go with her because he's a very nice doll. I like all his accessories. So thank you for joining me today, this evening, whatever time of day you might be watching this uh, for this review on uh, Ken at the beach, Ken on the beach uh, doll. And uh, I hope you loved the movie. If you saw the movie, again, let me know in the comments. I want to hear what your thoughts on it. And uh, hope you have the best day ever. So um, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.